the causes of infertility. This is a part of five minute uh, live stream. So today uh, we are on step five of the IVF series. Um, so let us break down this today's presentation into two parts. One is the normal reproduction and the second part is the causes of, of infertility. So like its name suggests, reproduction involves production of uh, male and female gametes and embryos and offspring together. So like um, any uh, production process, reproduction uh, requires regulation of the process and production of the gametes and delivery of the gametes. So uh, the, uh, for each function, there is a body uh, anatomic structure which is responsible for this process. For example, regulation is um, undertaken by pituitary hormone, pituitary gland in both men and women. And production of gametes um, uh, takes place in the testes in men, in ovaries, in women, and delivery of the gametes, uh, function of vas difference in men and fallopian tubes in women. So, and in order to keep this process going, you have a messenger hormones, so for regulation, uh, we have FSH and LH produced from pituitary. This is the exact same hormone for both male and female. And the feedback hormone in men, which is produced by testes, is testosterone. And the, the feedback hormone for women, which is produced from ovaries, is estradiol. Together in concert, these hormones to keep uh, hormones keep everything moving, which results production of gametes, sperm, and egg. So now we will move on to the next step, which are the cause of infertility. So the problem or breakdown in any point of this pro production process can lead to problems of reproduction, which we call infertility. Today we will not cover male infertility because we will do so next week during um, the covering of all male factor infertility and um, uh, other factors related to men. Today, we will be talking about um, causes of female infertility. So we will go step by step, starting from top regulation. So um, problems of regulation or pituitary dysfunction uh, is linked to two major causes. One is pituitary disease. Second is severe chronic stress. So most common pituitary disease is a high prolactin levels and low FSH and LH levels. So in terms of uh, stress, short-term minor stress doesn't cause significant problem to fertility, but chronic long-term stress, like, such as physical stress, mental stress, being underweight or overweight can cause a uh, problem with repro reproduction. So uh, next level is a production. So production of eggs. So we can see two different type of problems here. One is a, in terms of production release of eggs, which we call ovulation. Or second is a failure of fertilization. So release of eggs or ovulation usually linked to the quantity of the eggs or follicles in the ovaries. The failure to fertilize is linked to the quality of eggs. For example, if uh, if a patient has high ovarian reserve or polycystic ovarian syndrome, you have oversupply of follicles, which can result in failed ovulation. In opposite end of that spe spectrum, a low ovarian reserve or diminished ovarian reserve can equally cause an ovulation or um, failure, failure to release egg. In terms of um, Quality, the age, and genetic and medical factors are the main reasons why eggs cannot successfully fertilize or if, uh, once the embryo implant. So now we will move to the third level, which is the delivery of the gamut or eggs. So that's linked to this is a function of fallopian tubes, and this is linked to the disease of the fallopian tubes, which comes in two different forms. One is a blockage of the tube or second is adhesions or scar tissue formation around the tube, which can um, cause problem is a function of the tube. And both of these conditions usually link to past infection or endometriosis. 
So once we have um, uh, produced sperm and eggs, gametes, then we need two more steps to achieve um, successful pregnancy. Uh, next step is the fertilization of these eggs with the sperm in the tube, in implantation and intubation of embryo in the uterus. In this level, we can see two different types of problems. One, failed fertilization of eggs in the tube, which is usually linked to male factor infertility or quality of the eggs. Next level is the implantation of embryo in the uterus is linked to the endometriosis or structural problems, usually fibroids, polyps, infection, or septum. So these are the main causes of failed fertilization or failed implantation. So this textbook causes of infertility, we, we can fit into one of these boxes in this uh, process uh, of uh, production of gametes or uh, fertilization or incubation. If we can't find the right box or we, if we can't find the cause, then we can simply call it unexplained infertility. So we can see from here the problems or at any step of this production of gametes fertilization and incubation and implantation can cause infertility. Establishing exact cause of infertility in individual couples is very important. Ne next talk, we will discuss how we will achieve it by doing various investigations for infertility. Uh, this is the end of my presentation. Uh, thanks for your time. I wish you a great evening. I will see you next time. Thank you.